Hi, welcome to Judicial Academy's YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the important case laws for the month of February 2023. If you're new to our channel, we've also previously made videos starting from 2022 where we talk about monthly important cases, especially if you're preparing for the CLAT PG examination. So let's start this video and see what are the cases that are relevant for CLAT PG in the month of February 2023. But before we start with a quick announcement, we are organizing a webinar for uh, the preparation of CUET PG LLM exam. It will be conducted on 12th of March 2023 between 8 to 9 p.m. This is only for enrolled, enrolled students. So if you're interested, you can check out our courses from the link given in the description box. Now coming to the case laws for February, the first very important case that we have seen in this month is the judgment in the case of Common Cause versus Union of India a very important constitution bench judgment in which the Supreme Court has simplified the procedure that was prescribed for passive euthanasia in the case of Common Cause versus Union of India, a 2018 judgment. In this case, the Supreme Court has said that Article 21 includes the right to die with dignity. Further, it has simplified the procedure for executing a living will or advanced directive by modifying the judgment on the 2018 judgment of Common Cause versus Union of India. So as you can see, this is a very important judgment. In fact, in previous year CLAT exam, Common Cause judgment has already been asked. So areas relating to this can be relevant for your upcoming CLAT exam as well. Now coming to the second important judgment, we have the case of Bar Council of India versus Bonifoy Law College and others. Another five judge bench decision in this case, the Supreme Court has upheld the validity of the All India Bar Examination. The court has said that the Bar Council of India has the right to prescribe a condition such as clearing the All India Bar Examination for practice. And by doing that, the Supreme Court has also overruled its own decision in the case of V. Sudhir versus Bar Council of India, a 1999 case. So as you can see, this is also a very relevant judgment for your exam purposes. Before we move further, we have a lot of courses on CLAT as well as other LLM entrance exams. So if you're interested in checking them out, you can visit our website or you can call on the number given on your screens. Now coming to the third very important case in the month of February, we have the judgment in Joseph Shine versus Union of India. This is also a five judge bench decision in which the Supreme Court was again clarifying one of its 2018 judgment by the same name in which the Supreme Court has struck down the provisions relating to adultery, that is section 497 of the Indian Penal Code. In this case, the Supreme Court has held that decriminalization of adultery under the Indian Penal Code will not impact the court martial proceedings against armed forces personnel. So the Supreme Court was interpreting sections 45 and 63 of the Army Act 1950, and the court held that decriminalization of adultery does not have an impact on these provisions of the Army Act. Coming to the next important judgment, we have the case of Sushil Raghav versus Union of India, another important decision relating to environmental law. In this case, the Supreme Court has merely interpreted Section 25 of the NGT Act, but the findings are quite useful. The court has held that the National Green Tribunal has powers to execute its orders as decrees of civil court as per the provisions of section 25 of the NGT Act. Coming to the next case, we have the judgment in Aparna Ajinkya Firodia versus Ajinkya Arun Firodia case. In this important two judge bench decision, the Supreme Court was hearing the issue with respect to the DNA test of children to ascertain the legitimacy. The Supreme Court has held that the children also have the right not to have the legitimacy questioned frivolously in a court of law because this is an essential attribute of the right to privacy. The Supreme Court has further said that any DNA test of a child which is born during the subsistence of a valid marriage may be directed only when there is sufficient prima facie material to dislodge the presumption given under Section 112 of the Indian Evidence Act. So it's a very important case so far as constitutional law of right to privacy as well as the provisions of evidence law are concerned. Coming to the next judgment in the case of Rajkumar versus State of Uttar Pradesh, in this three judge bench decision, the Supreme Court has held that the state should not be arbitrary in allowing premature releases. The Supreme Court has clarified that the policy with respect to premature release of convicts must be applied equally to all. 
Coming to the last second judgment, we have the case of Ashwini Kumar Upadhyay versus Union of India. This is also a very important case because in this case, the Supreme Court refused to entertain the pleas to increase the age of marriage for women as 21 years from the previous 18 years. The Supreme Court has said that this is a policy issue and the court cannot direct the parliament to legislate, nor can it legislate on the matter itself. So citing separation of power, the Supreme Court refused to entertain these pleas with respect to increasing the marriageable age for women in India. Lastly, we have the case of in reference policy strategy for grant of bail. So in this very important case, the Supreme Court has issued seven directions to avoid delay in release of prisoners after getting bail. So this could be very important from the perspective of criminal law for your CLAT PG as well as ILEC PG examination. So this brings us to the end of our monthly update. If you like this video, please like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.